talking. We have the executive chef from the Valhalla and his we dance, Manny Brazil Cooks. Hey, Manny. Manny. How are you? We're Good. dancing. We're great. We're hungry. I mean, hey, listen, we talked about the fact that athletes are eating nothing but macaroni and cheese, yeah. a certain brand name. And everything. Surprising to you, right? Yeah, I'm shocked. Yeah. Can't believe it, honestly. Yeah. We need our, our Canadian Olympic athletes. We're all proud Canadians. Yes. We have to get behind them, right, Tom? Yeah, we should do something. Very, Very disappointing. disappointing. Simple to do, too, when you think yeah. about it. Put aside yeah. the money of a coffee every day for a couple yeah. of weeks. Why not? Support an athlete. I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh, just I'm shocked. Shocked. Well, maybe we can do something about it and get it started. Yeah, yeah we will. Yeah. What you making for us? Okay, we're making Coquille Saint Jacques. Coquille Saint-Jacques. What is Coquille Saint-Jacques? Okay, Coquille is uh, a shell of a scallop. Yep. Uh, that's what it means. It's a, it's a shell. Right. So what it consists of, uh, well, actually, we have some scallops here, nice big ones. Yes. Beautiful. They're gorgeous. That one's Jonathan's. Yeah, Jonathan. Uh, we're Jonathan, going to save that one. Producer. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm actually... Raw, you know? Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. strange guy. He's Maybe weird. He's an aphrodisiac or something. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> Neither do I. Back away from the scallops. <laughs> okay, so you're just cutting them in half. Yeah, because I mean, we don't have that much time, so I'm going to cut them in half. Uh, but at home, them. I would sear them off and put them in the oven and then serve them nice and plump like uh, that. Oh, delicious. Yeah, we, we, we opened up a different way here in the kitchen. Did we throw your cooking uh, segment off no, here? No, I was a little surprised. <laughs> yeah, you too. And when Kevin Newman showed up to help prep the food, you oh. were surprised? Yeah, Honestly. I just got to sit back and he just did everything. He just did everything. Really he mashed cool. your potatoes, he diced everything. He's really, Kevin is very gifted. <laughs> So what are we doing here? We're okay. peppering a plate? Yeah, so we're going to put yes. some salt and pepper okay. on the plate. We're trying okay. this plate. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets seasoned on the bottom. Then I'm just going to season the top. Torture? Thanks, we're going to put it right here so Move. people at home can okay. see. We'll Move Jonathan's scallop out of the way. Okay. okay. He loves the seafood, uh, Jonathan does. Who doesn't? So what I've done here, I've put a napkin on the bottom to uh, absorb the uh, moisture because you don't want the water and then when you start flying it off, especially with the oil. Yeah, it's going to start splattering. Right. Right. Very so, good tip. Yeah, so we just... Uh, well, this is a good way of doing top and bottom, eh? Yeah, yeah so you don't have to flip them over all the time. A little yeah. white pepper. Smart. Mm. Now, now, are these uh, uh, any particular uh, size of, or yeah. type? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, these are uh, 10 20, so that means there's 10 to 20 per pound. Okay. You see 16 to 16 20 shrimps, right. 16 okay. to 20. The sh uh, shrimps also 2 to 300 count, tiny little small tiny ones. Tiny little seafood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's per pound, 10 okay. 20s, 30s, uh, 20 30s. I said seafood shrimp, I meant to say salad <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> yes, I am an idiot. Anymore. You're no Kevin. You're no, no Kevin I'm Newman. Not. I'm not. Okay, so we're going to so do here. a little bit of oil in the pan. Yeah, a little vegetable oil. Okay. We're going to sear these off. And, and how far do you, uh, do you cook these guys? Well, these are going to be, uh, I'm going to cook them halfway. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put them in this bowl here. Okay. And then we're going to start off on the sauce. Okay. And then on this pan, we're okay. going to do actually uh, classically Coquille Saint Jacques, it's scallops, cream, white wine, lemon juice. Oh, yes. Um, but we, and then you would finish off with uh, white breadcrumbs on top, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to do some types of vegetables. I, I'm sure okay. pastry top on Coquille Saint Jacques. Oh, uh, yeah, some people have done that. So that's mm -hmm. yeah. when, I, when yeah. I worked at a restaurant, that's what we used to do. Mm -hmm. So now we've got a little bit of butter. Butter. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, I like the rings. Yeah, something the different. Lord of. Mm. Now, you, you can get peppers, uh, all three colored peppers, um, at, in, in a plastic wrapper, sort of as a sale at yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. some yeah. other places. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's a good idea, I guess. I'm going to buy in the one pepper for $5. Exactly. <laughs> three for $1.99. Look at you. I mean, you, you don't have to uh, put, I mean, classically, it would, uh, it would serve with mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and uh, the scallops and the sauce, and then that was it. Mm. So, I mean, you don't have to do that, but it, it kind of gives some color. It's all white. The potatoes are white, the sauce is white, the scallops are white. Right. Yes. How about a little color? Is that uh, pan hot enough for you, Chef? Uh, not quite, but it's getting there. All we'll, right. we'll get it. Now, if you don't have a hot enough pan, you're not really searing the outside. And no, yes. the juice I mean, the purpose of searing it, yeah, is to keep the juices inside. Okay. So people at home, let your pan heat up just a little bit more. Yeah, nice and hot. I mean, nice and, and then the best thing would be a cast iron pan. Oh, okay. A cast iron nice pan. Heat, right? yeah. yeah, I mean, you can put that on for 20 minutes before you get a really nice and hot oil, mm. throw your meat in there, and it sears off really quickly. I think also people make a mistake of crowding things that yeah, they're oh, trying absolutely. to Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, like with anything, you'll think, well, I got this handful. I don't want to do it twice. Right. But then it just doesn't work out. Small no. batches is yeah, the best small, way, right? Exactly. Very I cooked, good. Uh, I fried up some mushrooms in a little bit of butter last night to add to my meat sauce, and mm -hmm. I did that a few at a time in the Separate. pan. Three pans. Patience, patience, but it, it, it's worth it in the end, isn't I, it? I really believe it is. So we are putting it into a bowl. This yeah. is going to let them cool down a wee bit as well. Or they continue cooking in there, Sean? Oh, they're actually going to continue cooking because okay. they're hot. So I don't want to cook them too much because I don't want them rubbery. The thing is yeah. with the uh, shrimp scallops and that, mm -hmm. everybody always overcooks them. So then... Uh, and they taste like rubber and they yeah. wonder why there's no flavor. Yeah. Exactly. They cost so much. So we got some so sliced mushrooms. Delicious. Any Button. type of mushroom or what? Button, um, Anthony's button mushrooms, yeah. And what's shallots. That? Shallots. Oh, I love shallots. shallots. Lots of shallots, right? Yeah. Delicious. They're, they're nice and, I mean, not, I'm surprised that many people don't actually use them. They're really nice oh. and sweet.
It's like a party in the pan, is the way <laughs> I... Party in the pan. Yes, we've invited okay. Sherlock. So, uh, I would fry this off a little more of another two minutes, okay. then some white wine. Oh, lovely. Now, you didn't put a lot in there. No, no, not that much. Just a bit That's of great. water. Do we have a Pernod? Oh, it's actually it's French. Pernod. It's, um... Or Pernod, as I like to call it. It's, uh, it's uh, from the, th the flower from the fennel. Right. Oh, right, okay. so smell that. It's like anisette. Yeah, it's exactly like really anisette. Really nice. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice. nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Enough for you to well, get anywhere. <laughs> He's got it. See you. See you, Anthony. <laughs> See you, Kevin. So, is this heavy cream? Okay, heavy, 35% uh, uh, cream. Okay. Okay. Would you have to, for those of us who are trying to cut back on the fats, do you uh, have to no. use it? Yeah, we, we got Rick Gallup uh, standing by later. You know, yes. So don't, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't have to, but you would have to uh, thicken it. So okay. if you use 18% cream, you make a roux, 50%. So it would be a tablespoon of uh, butter to a tablespoon of flour. Excellent. Mix, uh, you can mix it up, put that in there, so you wouldn't have to use so as much. So there are fat. options. But there you know how they say, no fat's good for you. they got these fat diets and everything. Yes, yeah. So I, don't, I fat prefer has been good to just me. all natural instead of okay. putting flour and more butter into Playing it. Playing around, so yeah. I mean, uh, so that's what cream. I do. Thick now cream. Now what do we do? We've still got how many? Four minutes? Four okay. minutes, yeah. Cool. Got now. Time? Yeah, lots of time. So what we're going to do is... We've got some mashed potatoes. Yeah, made some mash. Just normal mash. Mm hmm And, um, I mean, people oh, don't have pipe? a piping bag. I'm, I'm going to show two different ways of doing it. Okay. Filling it up. Now, those of you who don't have a piping bag, do you advise taking, like, the uh, Ziploc or any other kind of... Plastic bag yeah, it's kind of the end off, But the or? problem is it becomes really hot and oh, you got to wrap a towel around it. Ah. So ah, this is a canvas sense. bag, so I mean you can feel it. It's holding oh, the, the heat, heat pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's but right. imagine a plastic bag, the heat would go through it like that. Okay, right. true story. Okay, so now so the really piping it's begins. Oh, it's beautiful. There's a hush falls over the crowd. Here. It's just making me think of icing on a cake. I'm getting yeah, so well. yeah. hungry, man. Don't invite me not to, to eat your cake, okay? All right, all <laughs> right. make potato icing. It's all a marzipan, I guess. Yeah, it's very similar. <laughs> so, I mean, you could nice. actually... Uh, it's looking you beautiful. That's the big shot. You could do it that way. Okay. Or okay. you know, a piping bag. What can you do instead? After. I'm guessing you use this. Now, your cream's yeah. boiling. Is that okay, Chef? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You won't separate. Nope. It's 35. It'll take a couple minutes to reduce down. Okay. So now we're just molding this. What are we going to do? Yeah, slightly we're slightly forward make if you don't mind, yeah. Thank you. Going to make a little well? Yeah, a little well in it. Yeah, well, well. I could have just eaten that middle part out. I'm here for you, Manny, <laughs> in any she way you want me to support you. It's kind of like Kevin Newman's sidekick. You know. Yeah, I wish. I wish I could be. So, I mean, it still looks okay. I mean, it's not as nice as that one, but... Uh, yeah, for this one's a little more fancy. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to spend 20 bucks on, on a canvas bag or even like a cheap, probably $10 for a cheaper one, mm -hmm. a plastic one. Now what happens? The uh, the scallops they go back in. Back they go back with the into cream. Uh, okay. Yep. Get finished cooking. Shot of that in a second. There Very we go. delicious. Still two minutes left, chef. Okay. So you know. Okay. How how are your holidays, by the way? We got a little bit of time here. We can. Yeah, we can pretty good. Uh, some lemon juice. Okay. Lemon. Lemon. Did you uh, did you get everything you asked Santa Claus for? Uh, yeah, pretty well. What did you yeah. serve for your Christmas? I'm always interested in what professional chefs eat. I didn't have turkey. Dinner. No. I mean, Christmas Day, we, we cook like 20 turkeys, 20, 30-pound so turkeys. So you turkey out. Yeah, I'm turkey yeah. out by then. And we usually celebrate because, I mean, my brother's also a chef. Mm -hmm. So we usually celebrate uh, like a couple days, 27th, usually when we celebrate Christmas. Who, who became the chef first? Uh, yeah. Me. Oh, okay. ah. so he's following your footsteps? <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah. Uh, he's one year younger. One year younger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of cool. That's we have always love cooking. Did you, he train the same place you did? Uh, we worked together three times. It uh, doesn't work out that well. No. no. <laughs> ah, three times Sibling we worked together and only yeah. thrice. Yeah. Hmm. Totally different. Okay. okay. Well, that happens. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. And some crushed black pepper. Okay, sure. Looking nice. Good. Beautiful. Yeah. So things went well at the uh, hotel yeah. over the holidays? Yeah, it was really busy. It was really nice. Lovely. Oh. The cream should reduce down a little more than that. To, that would thicken it up a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay, but this okay. is TV purposes. Beautiful. And it's holding beautifully, the piping job. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, it's like gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, a few mushrooms. And it's a nice dish for now, like for winter time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mashed potatoes, comforting. Once again, nice in, the, in there you had, I'm sorry to interrupt there, you yeah, put sliced ahead. mushrooms after you cooked the shallots. Yeah, so and then uh, yeah, well, we took the scallops out, put the shallots, okay. uh, the mushrooms. You want to add some garlic, you, you can add some garlic to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are we going to do with our greenery and delicious vegetables? Okay. Pile it on top. Gorgeous. They're, they're uh, waiting to put up the little factoid today, so it was shallot. We said it about 20 times, so go ahead and throw <laughs> it up there if you like. Oh, they did put it up. Okay. Very good. Very it. good. Oh, look at this, how you're making... Look, it's all three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Okay. 
beautiful. We have some fresh dill. Oh, look at you with the fancy dill. Oh, oh fantastic. Look at this. Manny, when can I eat it? When? Uh, right after this. It's oh, ready to go. Always patience. Patience I have to have. Yes. Stunning. Yeah. She calls it my precious. My precious <laughs> Manny Brazil, thank you so very kindly, buddy. Thank you. And Excellent. Happy holidays to you and uh, happy, happy New, New Year. Year as well. The Valhalla Inn is located at 1 Valhalla Inn Road. Give them a call at 416-239-2391 or visit them at www.valhalla-inn.com.